Hello, welcome to Golden Table Tennis, where we talk about table tennis, analyze players, and make match predictions. Today, I am going to talk about Ma Long and his chances to represent Team China in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Ma Long is unarguably the GOAT of table tennis, a double Grand Slam champion, the player with the most men's singles title and won three consecutive world championship titles in a row. However, age waits for no man. He might be good now, but in the future, as he gets older, he might lose his competence. Ma Long is turning 34 this year and in two years time, he will be 36. Can he really still continue to play? When reporters asked about Ma Long's retirement in one of the Chinese interviews, he said that he has no plans in retiring anytime soon. He hopes to continue playing until the age of 40 years old. Although Ma Long has a blazing heart and huge passion for table tennis, his body will say otherwise. Want and can is two different things. Even if he does continue to play until Paris Olympics, how certain is he to be able to maintain his form and secure a medal for China? Some of you might argue with me saying that Timo Ball and Samsonov are able to play until their 40s, so why can't Ma Long do the same? Let's not forget that Ma Long is a Chinese player. He is playing a Chinese style which emphasizes a lot on footwork, speed, and stamina. All these will slowly deplete with age. Whereas Timo and Samsonov is playing more of a European style which doesn't require too much footwork. They focus more on tactics, placement, and spin variation to defeat their opponents. Although Ma Long at the moment is still quite competitive, a few months ago, he managed to reach the final of the WTT Singapore Smash 2022, defeating two young prodigies Wang Chuqing and Ling Yunru. Even dominated world rank number 4 and two-time world championship bronze medalist Liang Jingkun, gave a very good fight to reigning world champion Fan Zhendong in the final. Even so, it is still very obvious that Ma Long's form is slowly fading away. It is just a matter of time before Ma Long can no longer stay competitive. The 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games is a great example. Despite winning the gold medal, he almost screwed up. In the men's singles semi-finals of the Olympics, he almost lost to Dmitry Ocharov despite having a perfect head-to-head -head record of 18 wins and 0 losses against Ocharov before the match. With such a convincing head-to-head -head record, tells you that Ocharov's style is no threat to Ma Long and Ma Long knows how to deal with him very well. But he only won with the narrowest of margins, 11-9 in the 7th game. After that, in the team's event semi-final match against Korea, Ma Long's opponent was Lee Sang Su. He was leading to love in games, but then allowed Lee Sang Su to tie it back to 2-0. This led me to wonder whether the rumors saying that Fan Zhendong purposely lost to Ma Long in the finals of the Olympic Games just so that Ma Long is able to make history become a double Grand Slam champion and become the first ever male table tennis player to win two Olympic men's singles gold medal is actually true. Come to think of it, there might be a possibility of it being real since Fan Zhendong was able to defeat Ma Long in both their encounters after their Olympic Games, first in the Chinese National Games and the second one in the WTT Singapore Smash. Another crucial factor that I can think of why Ma Long could not play in the 2024 Olympic Games is due to the fact that he is struggling to defeat some of China's biggest threats like 
Tomokazu Harimoto and Lin Yunru. Liu Guoliang has already admitted that Tomokazu Harimoto is going to be China's biggest opponent for at least the next 10 years. Can Ma Long really deal with Harimoto? Well, from the past few encounters with him, we can clearly see that Ma Long isn't really the best fit to deal with Harimoto. He has already lost to Harimoto twice before. The first time was in the 2018 Japan Open and the second time was in the 2019 World Cup. Despite winning their last encounter in the 2020 World Cup, it was still an extremely close fight and Ma Long had to crawl back from a 1-3 deficit. The reason why Ma Long is struggling against Harimoto is because Harimoto is a speed-oriented player who takes the ball very early off the bounce. He also has very deadly forehand and backhand attacks which Ma Long is struggling to deal with. If you have watched Ma Long long enough, you will know that he is not really a speed-oriented player. He is more of a player who likes to stay back away from the table and do loops on both ends. That is why when he comes to playing speed players like Harimoto, he doesn't cope well. Ma Long also doesn't deal with Lin Yunru too well. He has already lost to Lin Yunru three times. First time in the 2019 T2 Diamond League, second time in the 2019 World Cup, and the third time in the 2020 Chinese Super League. Lin Yunru is one of the very few non-Chinese players to have such a dominant record against Ma Long. Even though Ma Long won against Lin Yunru in their last encounter, it was still a very close 3-2 victory. Harimoto and Lin Yunru are still young and will continue to improve, but Ma Long's ability will just keep dropping as he gets older. By then, what are the chances that he can still compete with them? Wang Juqing must have a better opportunity against those two because he can basically dominate Harimoto and Lin Yunru. He also has the ability to deal with a lot of foreigners, so I think it would be more rational for Team China to send Wang Chuqing instead of Ma Long for extra security. Even though Ma Long's chances are very slim in my opinion, if he really does make it, he would break the record of Team China being the oldest player to stay competitive. Wang Liqing retired at the age of 35, Ma Ling retired at the age of 33, and the legendary Chinese head coach Liu Guoliang already retired at the age of 25. If there is any chance of Ma Long playing until that age, I guess it's due to the fact that Ma Long is a player who doesn't purely rely on strokes and techniques to win his matches. He has other weapons under his belt that other Chinese players do not have. That is the ability to vary strokes. Ma Long has a very deceptive serve which is very difficult to read. He can serve different spins using the same service motion. He knows how to vary speed between shots and have other creative shots in his arsenal such as his chop block technique. If he can execute this well, he might not need to rely too much on his footwork or stamina because he can just stay quite still on one spot of the table and let his opponent do most of the running. I guess this is his one and only chance to play until the age of 40. But whether or not he will be qualified for the Olympic Games, that is another story. It is still too early to tell right now. We have to see Ma Long play more tournaments in order to judge. The Budapest Smash 2022 will begin next month in July and Ma Long will also be participating. We will see how he plays during the tournament. What do you guys think? Do you think Ma Long can play in the 2024 Paris Olympics? 
or will he be replaced by other younger players? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. We can discuss this together. With that, I would like to conclude today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.